I'm sitting a fraction to the inside on the circle to help him come round. My shoulders follow him round on the circle so that I'm as in balance with him as I possibly can be. And that way I can let go and he stays there and he starts to use himself and his own self-carriage and starts relying less and less on me for balance. Girls, shall we jump for it once again? And this time, how about we do hands on our head and then hands on our hips and then hands on our knees as we jump through. If we do a different movement on each jump, it means we have to be able to adjust our balance as we move our arms. Well, another big rangy, loose moving horse in walk. And he is a little spirited in trot. Very athletic, certainly knows how to use himself. Um, yep, Carsten's got him under control, I think. Oh, spoke too soon. There he goes. I'm not sure I want to ride that one. As you noticed, I wasn't achieving exactly what I set out to do. Um, horses tend to do that. I jumped the oxy, he jumped it lovely, I was pleased with it. We landed, I asked him to come back, he saw the pole, spooked a bit, and I had to change the game plan slightly and ride him forward over the pole and not halt and then work over the pole on a later circle or something like that. Well, the lovely Cuba, who is quite a big boy, and I don't look, I don't look quite as small on him as I thought I would, um, and I have to say that I liked him the minute I saw him. Um, and I always like to sort of walk and do lateral work and walk every which way when I get on a, a new horse and in fact the warm-up for my own horse because I think you can really get to know a horse in walk and make it attentive and lots of halting and backing as well just so that he's on your raids and he's connected with you. So again, outside leg back, outside rein, steady and walk. Good boy! And I give as soon as I'm in walk because that encourages him to walk properly and let go. And then outside contact, a little bit of inside flexion. Outside leg says canter, inside rein gives. So my inside rein gives in the transition to give him room to canter on and to come up with his inside shoulder so that it's an expressive transition. If I hold on to the inside rein and pull his head round like this, you can see I'm actually blocking that shoulder. Well, though I very much liked the look of this horse when he was standing up, I didn't entirely trust him after seeing him perform on the trot up. Um, although he had been a very successful uh, three and four year old, he's five now. Um, and I found him just a little bit sort of um, heavy in the hand, which was about not having him completely sitting behind or having enough power behind. And once I got that power, um, he came light and came up in front. Now it's just working on, on little bits and really getting to ride in the arena. Um, I can say how much power I want and I can, um, you know, I can go for a quieter, cleaner test, I can go for a more expressive test and now it's just making sure that I really can ride a completely faultless test with, with all the power and everything in place and, and you know, the, the aim at the end of the day is to do that by Kentucky. So I've got one more competition to go um, to really file out any little, little things and, and, and hopefully by Kentucky we'll be completely sorted. Any cross-country jump you need to be very strong at. Well I couldn't ask for much better than that. Mm.